Southern Touch Supply. I've got our new um, Tall and Skinny Mold. It's made out of HDPE food grade polymer. It is four inches deep. I made it a little bit deeper, that way you've got some extra room at the top so you don't have to fill the mold completely to the rim and if you, that way you won't spill it. If you're like me and you make oat milk soap and you put it in the freezer when you're done pouring, you won't spill it over the sides. Um, it is two and a quarter inches wide, 12 inches long. Now this is the inside dimensions. So this will hold 40 ounces of oils. It's real simple to take apart. We've put two bolts on the end because this, this mold is so tall. We want to make sure that um, it does not leak. That's a bad thing. Take your uh, little wing nuts so they're easy to grab a hold of. Off. Um, Dad and I have been working on this for a little while, so I, I know you all are going to love it. I love it. First time, guys. This is my first uh, kind of video like this, so if you like it, let me know. It'll make me feel good. <laughs> oh goodness! There we go. Bottom one. I've not had to use the only thing I've had to use that little mallet for. You might need one or a small hammer to get those bolts out because it does hold that together tightly. Um, I've not had to have it to put the pieces together because they slide in and out. Very good. Just like a puzzle. You've got your two side pieces. You've got your two end pieces. And then you've got your bottom piece. The side and the end pieces are all half inch thick. Um, this will be, this is going to make this mold um, uh, not flimsy. You're not going to have any problems with it uh, wanting to come apart because the router depths are all a quarter inch thick so your, your uh, mold when it gets together is not going to come apart. The bottom piece is a quarter inch thick. Um, it's real simple to put together. The easiest way I have found to put this lovely thing together. Get some stuff out of my way here. Let's put your end pieces on first. It goes together like a puzzle. A very simple three-year-old puzzle, by the way. You pop those sides in there like that. This side. Line your router lines up here. Put your bottom in. Slide it in. Push down on it and it'll go into its hole. And what I do, because it seems to be the easiest for me, whatever's easy for you, I'd suggest you do it that way. But I would grab a hold of this part here and put my fingers here so the bottom piece does not slide out. Oh, I've got it upside down. And I put it right there and push down. That's it. Then I put my bolts in. to be tightened any more than what you can do with your hand. Okay? If you tighten it any more than that, you are going to cause your mold to bow in here, in here, out in the middle, which we do not want to do. Okay? Hand tighten them. Hand tighten them evenly on both sides. Really simple to do, guys. Don't be afraid. If you have any problems, you all know how to get a hold of me. If you hear thunder, it's getting ready to storm outside here. It's been super hot here today in the 90s or mid 90s, which is 
normal for this time of year, but this year it's, it has not been. It's been fall weather. It's been really strange this year. But anyway, like I said, hand tighten them. All four or all five bolts. That's it. It's together. Okay. I'm going to make a blackberry blackberry vanilla soap today. I'll show y'all how this works. I'm using uh, Tamara Jenkins from Soap Making Soap Making Sense. Sorry, Tamara. Soap Making Sense. She has a group on Facebook. I highly recommend her. I get at least a pound, if not two pounds, of everything that she sells. She has a pre-buy going on right now for fragrances. Um, I said I highly recommend her. I've got my oils melted. I make goat milk soap. I only make goat milk soap. I have a farm here in uh, South Central Kentucky. I raise um, alpines and nubians, which probably a lot of you all already know. Um, I like my girls an awful lot. But um, I milk them daily. And fresh goat's milk, guys. Don't be too jealous. <laughs> I know we talk about it's hard to get goat's milk. But um, I have like two freezers full. But anyway, I've got my oil. I do a lye solution, 50-50. I master batch it. It's simpler and quicker for me. My goat's milk. Um, my micas. I always dilute or uh, pre-mix my micas in avocado oil. I do that because it slows down trace. And if you want to do pretty swirls like I love to do, that's what I do and it helps. There's my fragrance oil. I also put sodium lactate in it. Makes me a harder bar. I like it. Helps on the bubbles too. So, what I do first is I, you should be sure I've got everything set here that I need. Yep. Okay. Um, I pour in my lye solution first. Always do. I do not mix my lye and goat's milk together. Never have. I do not freeze my goat's milk. I wait till my oils and my lye solution are at room temperature. And then I mix them. I've never had a brown bar. I'll call some wood and I've never had a bar turn brown on me. My goat's milk. I always bring it to a very light trace. Some y'all have seen some of my soap. I like it to make them pretty. This one I'm just going to make a simple bar. No decorations on the top today. Oh, I got to see the uh, the black or uh, black or sorry, goodness, black. Um, Chocolate covered strawberries. That was a lot of fun to make. That fragrance will come from Tamara also. It's fantastic. Mix this up. Oh, this recipe here that um, I'm using, it's got, um, it's got two of my uh, butters in it. The uh, mango butter and the shea butter that we just done a while on not too long ago. I really like the butters. Um, put my sodium lactate in there. Mix it up just a little bit more. I put my fragrance oils in last, I always do. I've never had a problem with the black raspberry vanilla. There's a first time for everything. That stuff works perfectly every time, and I'll probably change myself today. I love it. All right, I'm going to do three colors. My pinky color, my black color, and then just my regular soap. Cream color. Pour a little bit in each other. Putting two ounces of fragrance oil in there.
going to um, put this in the oven. CPOP, cold process, oven process with this batch I'm doing. Make sure I've got plenty of time to let it cure. drop swirl. I just like to do the bottoms a little bit different. Just me. to a skinny mold, huh? It's all right. I'm going to pour me some pink, just a drop swirl. Most of my pink because I want the black to go down the center of it. And we're going to drop this from pretty high up because this mold is so tall. so much about Tamara's Frenzel because I absolutely love them guys. This is my best seller. I sell out of this quickly, very quickly. As you can see, this soap is behaving very well. We are not too thick. We are doing very Get our trusty bamboo sticks. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of this one and swirl it. It's one of the ways I do this. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a black, black raspberry vanilla soap. As you can see, let me get the rest of that off the side. I think I need to. Uh, my stock in some kind of paper towel company. But anyway, there it is. I can't turn it over or I would to show you it's not leaking. But, as you can see, nothing coming out. That's it, guys. Plus, you can lose these for little handles. It's nice. All right. I will be back to finish this up tomorrow. And I'll cut the soap. Show you how easily it is taken out of the mold. And I'll post that video tomorrow. Everyone have a really good night. I'm very excited about this. You can um, send me a message on Facebook uh, with your PayPal address if you'd like one of these. They are um, $35 plus your shipping. And it's going to depend on where you live what your shipping is. Um, 
I think that's a really, really good price. Uh, most of the silicone molds that I've seen are um, around about that price, and they're not going to last near as long as this, this bad boy is. Um, I think you're really going to like it. But anyway, I'm going to put it up on the website. The website is kysoapmakingsupply.com. You're more than welcome to order it there. I will invoice you the shipping via PayPal when it is ready to ship. I've got three of these already made up and ready to go. Um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later.